I found these two to be inadequate for most of the jobs that I do. They're not really actually strong at all. Impact driver obviously will always do the job, but it's just very heavy and I don't want to carry it with me all the time. And there is no enough control. So let's try this one and I have already tested it. It's pretty good. And let me show you what it can do actually. First, four small screws PZ2 or POSI2. Let's try the small one just for the reference. So. Oh wow, it did the whole thing. I'm really surprised. Okay, it stopped. Uh, at the bottom. So very good. Okay, let's get it out. Whoa, whoa, I'm surprised. Okay, next one, the same screw. I mean, uh, the same size, but just a different fresh screw. Very, now we'll drill it next to the, the original one, the first one. Ah, oh, this one is much, much weaker, actually. So this one is, is actually uh, quite rubbish. It's good for maybe furniture, delicate work, uh, but uh, not strong enough. Okay, let's see if we can drive it out. Yeah, but it can't, it just stops. So you see, it's, it's completely inadequate for most of the jobs. This one is okay. And the older version of this one by Ryobi was really strong. It was at least 50% stronger. So anyway, I'm surprised. So. Um, Let's do now th this one, supposedly um, 18 Newton meters. So let's see. Oops, 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 I destroyed the screw, kind of. Yeah, it's not a good quality screw. Let's, let me see if I can get it out. Yeah, I can still get it out, but yeah, the screw is now gone. Okay, well, these are good quality screws, I thought, from Fisher. Okay, anyway, and now the last test, let's use the um, impact driver just for reference. First gear, so 100 Newton meters, yeah? Okay, so it started engaging towards the end and now it's flush and let's now get it out. Okay, that was on the first gear, yeah? So 100 Newton meters, this one can go up to 300. And the screw is quite hot. Oh, I shouldn't be touching it to my face. Maybe okay. Let's do. Uh, let's use now the bigger screws, uh, much bigger in comparison. Um, with uh, PZ3 this time. So a uh, big difference in the screw size, you know. Just for fun, we will try this one to see how it performs. Ah, it went quite well, you know, I, I, I thought that's pretty good. Okay, let's see. Yeah, and it can get it out quite easily, yeah? Okay. Let's try now our uh, normal driver, 18 Newton meters. It went to almost the very end, so it didn't went um, flash. Uh, it sunk it up to the head, so very, very good. Let me see if I can get it a bit further. I broke the screw. Wow, I broke the screw. <laughs> wow, that is a surprise. Okay, let's try with the bigger one then. I'm really surprised because th these seem to be a very good quality screws. Wow. Okay, it's stopped, so it doesn't have more power. Let's try further. I, I guess this is it, so I'm well impressed. Okay, it went really far. So let's try the uh, impact driver then. Again, first gear, uh, 100 Newton meters. Okay, it's not moving it, so that shows you how strong that is. Let's go to the second gear, which I think is 180 Newton meters. No, it's not moving, it's not moving. I'm not gonna go to 300 now, so let me get it out. Uh, we will try this one again, the normal driver. Uh, 
No. Okay. No, not moving. Number two. No. Oh. Number three. Okay. Uh, broke the screw. So, here we go. I'm really impressed with this one. It blows my mind how powerful it is, but it also gives me more control. So if I press the trigger gently, so first we get the light, and then it starts turning slowly. At the slowest speed, I can actually stop it with my hand, but just a tiny bit uh, more of the trigger and I can't hold it anymore. And you've uh, seen what has happened when we used full power. Uh, it broke uh, uh, that first screw. <laughs> Very impressive. Also, so why am I going to use it? Because it's much lighter uh, than this. So what's the, the weight difference? This one, without the battery, just by itself, 685 grams. Whereas this one, the impact driver, as good as it is, it weighs uh, 1060 grams almost. So 684 versus 1058. So 400 grams of a difference, that is a lot. That's almost half a kilogram. Uh, when we put the batteries in, the difference is proportionately smaller, but still I can feel like with this one, I can work for much, much longer, especially when I'm going up there in the ceiling or somewhere in some funny, awkward positions, places. So let's do a bit of a comparison. So uh, by the way, uh, in the test, I used two different batteries, two amp and two and a half amp. Uh, these are high performance batteries. Do not confuse them with high energy batteries. That's very, very different. These are the super duper ones. These are the high performance, but not as good as these ones. And this one wasn't even uh, fully charged. So it, it was in the impact driver. This one was in this normal driver. So size wise, let's see. So this one is a tiny bit uh, lower, uh, maybe by, I don't know, half a centimeter or so. Um, the other dimensions are almost identical, but also it is um, much thinner. It's a slimmer body by quite a lot and it's much lighter, around 400 grams lighter. I have already tested it on a, a few jobs. I was uh, installing curtain poles, for example, and it was driving really well. I was really pleased. So I uh, figured how to actually control it nicely. So if I just gently press it, it rotates slowly. And then if I keep pressing, it, it takes a little bit to get used to it, but you know, a very short time and I was able to control it really well. Also, this can be used as a, a manual uh, screwdriver to a certain degree. Uh, so if there is a lot of resistance, it will start rotating, but with small forces, it's uh, absolutely uh, possible to use it as a hand screwdriver. Also, um, even if it starts rotating, we can engage the engine and then we can use it again as a hand screwdriver with the extra torque from the engine that will prevent it from rotating freely. And that will give us a, a good feel if we don't have a hand screwdriver to hand or can't be bothered to get one. Very powerful, I needed to be careful. So I would recommend using actually impact bits instead of normal bits like I have here, uh, just to, to give us this extra safety, so to say, <laughs> and protection. I used it also to uh, screw small screws on, on the side of my lamp. You will see this uh, at the end of the video. So you will see for yourself how powerful it is. It's really, really great tool. I cannot recommend it more. This is now one of my fav favorite Ryobi tools. It's really much lighter than this one and uh, it, I like the shape, the design of it. On one hand, it's nothing fancy, but on the other hand, somehow I like it. It's like really cool. I like looking at it and holding it, holding it in the hand. And especially with a battery, it's really well balanced. It's balanced slightly tiny bit forward, which is good. Uh, so if I um, have a bit in, I get to a screw and then it naturally kind of drops down once this this is in the screw. So it's, I think it's really good. Now with a short bit, this is uh, in line. If I have a short bit, that would be kind of in line. So a longer bit is probably better depending on the situation, of course. A similar uh, situation is here with the impact driver. 
as they have the similar sizes. So I've never had issues with this one really. I mean, never, hardly ever. So I don't expect to have any issues regarding size with this one. And because this one is a bit smaller, I was on the job actually putting screws in the so-called pigeonholes, you know, those shelves, etc. So uh, this one just went in with difficulty. So this one would have made it much, much easier to get in and give me a bit more space to maneuver. You never know, those a few millimeters might make a big difference in, in some jobs. So this is it, ask uh, me any questions if you want. And uh, so this is 18 Newton meters only. According to Ryobi, this one is up to 300. So big difference, yeah, I know, but I'm really happy with this one. Questions and comments in the comments, please. Links below, take care. I've got this screw and I want to drive it in gently, so I'm going... That's it, okay, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, this is okay. So let's see if I want to make it a bit tighter. Whoa! Whoa, that is... Oh no, that... Oh, I can't move it, so that was pretty tight. So let's try again. Okay, and now it's too tight. Now, the challenge with this one is it kind of got stuck. I cannot unscrew it, so I will probably need to use an impact driver. So let's see. See, I, I can't hold it in my hand. It just... So it is pretty powerful. And another great thing about this is the balance of power. So it's uh, got enough power to actually drive things with lots of force, but not too much to overpower me. So if I hold it with one hand, and even if I encounter the full resistance of of something to the maximum power of this. If I use my strength, I can hold this and it will not fly out of my hand. Now, if I press the trigger very fast, then I might get the sudden moves, in which case, if I want to do that, I can grab it with both hands and then I can press it till the very end, use full power and still hold it and not have this thing happen. But if I press it very slowly, I'm getting this perfect, very little power. And then if I accelerate, I get this really great power and I can still hold it with one hand and if I need to I can then hold it with two hands but usually with one hand it's enough for me if I use all my strengths not like all my power everything but you know I can hold it <laughs>